All right, let's go ahead and keep this a stack. You're tired of hearing about how trash this show is from this misogynist, so let me go ahead and let a more liberal group tell you how bad it is. You know, the real rejects. But though, uh, I'll be honest, like it progressively got annoying to me. and It progressively got annoying to me. and It progressively got annoying to me. I'm just a misogynist. What do I know? And, and it was, it really felt like a, a bad parody. It felt like when, you know, SNL does a sketch of like the Avengers <laughs> and it, it didn't feel like I didn't care for any of the chemistry with anyone none of them sound like real characters it all sounded like bad comedy writing to me like just straight up bad comedy writing with a with a random i'm not complaining i i i i thought this was this was a fantastic episode i had so much fun um no are you being serious are you being serious are you being serious are you being serious the uh daredevil you know appearance was you know we So you heard what they had to say there. But you know what? I'm just a misogynist. What do I know? Hey, my name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more gaming entertainment news, commentary, and analysis. Today, we got to talk about episode seven of She-Hulk. Fortunately, after the drop. Makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine. Even if you call me up All right, y'all. So, um... Let's not waste any time. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and uh, let's get into it, all right? So, does anybody even know what just happened in this episode, all right? Or, or no, we know what happened. W was any of it meaningful whatsoever? I don't know. So, basically, Jen uh, decided to go on uh, multiple dates with our boy Josh, who everybody predicted last episode he was going to turn out to be some sort of misogynist. All right, let's <laughs> we saw it coming. Oh, let's see how this asshole fucks it all up. And he, he, that's what he was. He basically uh, uh, went out on three dates with her. On the third date, he got them cheeks and got up out of there. All right, now let's go ahead and be realistic about this. Ladies, you can choose to take this advice or not. It's up to you, okay? Don't matter how long you make a man wait, a man will wait however long he needs to to get them cheeks, period, whatever the case may be. But if you are an insufferable woman, it don't matter. You can give it up on day one. You can give it up, give it up on day 679. It doesn't matter. If you are an insufferable woman, which based on the show, Jennifer Walters has been very insufferable, very entitled, very bratty, very bitchy, very uh, uh, contradicting. At what point did she become proud to be She-Hulk? I mean, didn't wasn't she rejecting the shit in the beginning? Like, oh, I don't want to be She-Hulk. Don't call me She-Hulk. Now I'm mad about somebody using the She-Hulk name. Now all of a sudden I want to be She-Hulk everywhere and they don't want to let me be She-Hulk. Now all of a sudden I... Just shut up. All right? Shut up. So anyway... Yeah, so she's spending most of the episode, you know, checking her phone, trying to wait for Josh to hit her back. He ain't calling back because if you like me, you know what I'm saying? You're like, okay, this woman is cute, but she's kind of annoying. She's more focused on her job. She's entitled. She thinks being a woman is harder than being a man for some odd reason. So I'm going to hit it and I'm going to dip. Now, then she meets up with uh, Emil Blonsky on some fucking retreat or whatever, where he's apparently coaching um, a bunch of other morons on how to control their anger or some shit like that. Dude, Emil Blonsky, they turned this dude into a yoga, a yoga uh, uh, dancing sissy. I mean, I, I, I'm tired of it. I don't want to. I thought there was going to be like fighting between the Abomination and She-Hulk. And apparently this dude doesn't even have a dick anymore I, at this point. So... Um, you know, she joins the little circle with the, I don't know, dude, this show, this show is garbage. All right. All right. So yeah. So last episode, I gave it a three out of 10. This one, I think had better acting, uh, as far as Jennifer, when she went on that monologue about, you know, being able to turn into the She-Hulk, I thought that was good acting, but I mean, it was a CGI. I don't know. I, I, I thought that was good. I thought, um. I mean, that's it. <laughs> that's it. 
This show is garbage. Absolute garbage. All right. So, four out of ten. All right, I'm done. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram. We'll continue the conversation. I am out. Fuck this show. Let's go. Let's go.